we are working with the reactive forms in angular application and in the reactive forms i got a new requirement the requirement is that whenever i'm making any change in any one of the property let's say i will talk about this title property if there is any change in the value of this title property then i want to display or perform some kind of operation in the component file it means i want to watch the change of this particular property and let's understand how to do that you already know that we can get the instance of a form controlled by using this approach let's do this same approach over here and this time let's just comment both of them because it is not required and here i'm writing const title control like this now you will see that there are so many things that we can do on this title control first is title control on this control there is a property with name value changes this one let's see what we have over here in this value changes so this is a read only type property and its type is observable of any type observable is something that we will cover in some upcoming videos it is a concept from rxjx but here if you want to work with the observable then we have to subscribe and if we will subscribe the observable over here then if there is any change over there then we will get the response at this place so here i'm writing subscribe and in this subscribe let's use the arrow method and here i'm writing console dot log and see what we have in the x just save all the changes so this is a very simple concept we are having this form control and then on this control i'm using this value changes you can also apply this value changes directly over here like this so it will work there is no need to write all these things like this it will also work let's go back to the browser and remember we have not made any change in this html file we have only written these three to four lines okay so here we are on the form and let's hit this console button clean everything from this place and here let's say i'm writing one immediately you will see we are getting the message over here on this browser and we are getting this message from this console dot log let's enter something else immediately you will see that we are getting notified on the component file whatever change i'm making over here it is working fine and now if you want to apply any kind of logic based on this value change then you can do that over here instead of this console.log message you can do the same approach for all the controls that we are using in this form we can do the same thing on this author whatever data you are using over here as a form control you can subscribe the value changes for all of them and remember to use it in the ng on init